Is fat really the worst thing a human being can be? Is fat worse than jealous, vain, shallow, vindictive, evil, or boring? Not to me. J.K. Rowling. Hey guys, it's Broomstick88 and I want to talk to you about something that's really important to me and something that recently happened to me. Before I get started, something I am going to let all of you know because I care about you is if you are easily triggered by things talking about anxiety, body image, or bullying, or if you're sensitive to crass language or swearing, this is not the video for you. I really want you guys to understand what I'm saying and I don't want to cause you pain. So if you think that you're not going to be able to handle this, please go find one of my other videos, watch me do some happy makeup, and leave this for someone who either really needs the message or someone who's able to take the message without causing themselves more harm. I took a little break from social media for a couple of days because I needed to make sure that I was going to be able to handle myself correctly. A few, about a week ago, I posted a picture of myself on Instagram for Impossible Astronaut Day because I'm a total Doctor Who fan. And um, the BBC Doctor Who official page found my picture and they posted it and it got thousands of likes, which was so cool. Totally freaked out, thought it was the best thing that had ever happened. The best thing that ever happened turned onto something really cruel. Fat people hate a blog that shames people of larger body sizes, picked up my photo, put it on their site, and viciously went after me. They did not come to other social media profiles of mine, um, not yet as far as I can tell. I have had to block more unusual comments than normal, but none from the same usernames as that blog had. Um, Another beautiful woman on Instagram messaged me and said, hey, I wanna make sure you, you don't know me, but I wanna make sure you know that this happened and this is where it's at. And I read it and it was cruel and vile. People were telling me that I should stitch my mouth shut, that someone should beat me to death with a broomstick, that um, I was, I shouldn't be called a human, I should be called it because fat people like me don't deserve to exist. Um, that someone should try to kill me. They, they said terrible things about my body and my life and I want to talk about that. One, my like main belief in life is it takes very little to not be a shitty person. That's our only purpose in life. Our only purpose in life is to not be an asshole. And um, these people are assholes. Like we're just gonna lay that out there. I don't think anything kind about them. I'm not like there but for the grace of God go I. No, fuck them. They're terrible human beings. Now, one person in particular was very vicious. Um, I will not be mentioning her username on here. I have pretty much gotten her blacklisted from a lot of social media because of the things that she said about me and about other people. And I did internet stalk her a little bit and she's just a miserable human being. She just is. Every post that she has on like Reddit and things like that are about what a terrible, terrible, depressing life that she has. And I feel bad for her that she's going through that. I do not feel bad for her on how she chose to handle it, especially in regards to calling me such horrible, horrible things. Um, I wanna to talk to you guys about body shaming. Body shaming is when you look at somebody who is a body type different than you, or maybe the same as you, and you have some deep-seated issues you gotta work with there, and you make them feel bad about what they look like, and that's not cool. That's not cool. It's never gonna be cool. It's not okay. Here are some of the things that fat shaming and body shaming can cause. And it's not just fat shaming. Skinny people get shamed too. When you see that girl who's super duper thin, you tell her to eat a cheeseburger, go fuck yourself. That's not okay. Here's the thing. Body shaming has real consequences, okay? In 2013, a study was shown that one in four seven-year-old girls had tried to lose weight. They're seven, seven years old. One in four seven-year-old girls wants to lose weight and has tried to lose weight. What the fuck? That's not okay. That's not okay. Seven-year-old girls should be worried about my little pony, not about what their pants size is. That's not okay. I am not saying that people shouldn't strive to be healthy. I am saying that healthy looks different depending on the person that you are. Some people's version of healthy is not going to be the same as other people's version of healthy. 
that's a huge deal. Like that's something that we all as like a society need to recognize. Now a lot of people who are to participate in this body shaming culture and fat shaming culture say that I am morbidly obese. And they say that I am morbidly obese and that our culture has learned to accept people who look like me and unless their body is literally shutting down in front of them, they don't see people our culture doesn't see people like me as that large and they think that I am and that apparently I should go kill myself seriously um, here I want to give you guys some statistics about body shaming body shaming can lead to depression people who are discriminated against due to weight are at a higher risk of depression and other mental issues Eating disorders. Fat shame is linked to increased risk of eating disorders such as binge eating disorder. That's where you can't stop. You just sit there and just mom, 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 mom on anything that you can get your hands on and you can't stop yourself and then you feel terrible later and then you're depressed and have anxiety. And then sometimes you end up with things like anorexia and bulimia. All of which are bad. There's no good anorexia. Let's just put that out there. There's no good bulimia. If someone loses weight that way, it's unhealthy. They are more unhealthy than they were at their previous weight, no matter what that weight was. Okay, here's a study from 2014. In a study of 93 women, a PhD study for the American Medical University, exposure to weight stigmatizing information may overweight women, but not normal weight women eat more calories and feel less in control of their eating. In another study where 73 overweight women who were watching a stigmatized video ate three times as many calories afterwards compared to women who watched a non-stigmatizing video. That means that they showed this woman a video, a video just like the one that you're watching here that told her that she was bad because of her weight, because of what her body looked like, and she couldn't control herself due to anxiety. This is a channel that we talk about anxiety and depression openly. I want us to have open communication. When you say these things to people, there are real consequences. Now, just because you're on the internet and I can't see your face like you can see my face right now, doesn't mean it's okay to say those things. I do not promote bullying. Nobody should. If you were the victim of bullying, then you need to take some steps, especially cyberbullying. If you are the victim of cyberbullying, reach out for help. Do not respond to those people. If you respond to them, they will continue because you're feeding the trolls. Do not respond to cyberbullies. If they are using your image, that is digital copyright infringement. They do not have the right to use your image without your permission. You need to reach out to the server of the website that's using your image and report them because it's against the law. Do not let someone treat you this way and do not let someone treat someone else this way. If your friend is sitting next to you and someone walks by and calls her a fatty, that person, that person needs to know it's okay, not okay. They need to know it's not okay. You need to either be able to comfort your friend or tell that person to go away or leave the situation. If you are a non-confrontational person, you're not someone who can be like, hey, you need to go away. You need to leave the situation with that person and tell them, please do not listen to them, let's go. If someone says something to you, don't get physical, that's against the law. You can say, I feel like you're being harassing me, this is not a safe space, and then leave. There's nothing wrong with that. You are allowed to leave when you are in an unsafe situation and that is an unsafe situation. I'm gonna give you guys a few more statistics, okay? This is a study from 2014 from the American Psychological Association. 6% of girls admit to bullying others. 27% of girls received nasty comments online. 52% of girls experience name calling by text. 31% of girls have been called gay or a lesbian as an insult. And 25% have experienced homophobic bullying. Body shaming is not the only type of bullying that's out there, but it's the type of bullying that people tend to look past very often. Um, our media recently has reached out and you know tried to embrace curvy women and all these people who do not believe that curvy women like me are good, and, and I'm not saying good like in good shape, I'm saying good, they think I'm a shitty person. Like I would totally rather have a beautiful heart and a fat ass than be an asshole. Like, I could be unbelievably totally in shape and be just a C word on the inside. I, I, what's the point? Like, why be beautiful on the outside if your insides are shitty? 
bullying is not okay fat shaming is not okay and if you fat shame in the comments of my Instagram of my YouTube of my Twitter of my snapchat if you fat shame I will call your ass out this is a final notice warning we do not treat people like that in our community and in our world we need to improve our culture we need to improve our culture by being the badass strong wonderful beautiful women that we are because fat is not okay we need to stop having fat be the f-word I'm heavy. I got the chipmunk cheeks. I got some wingies up in here. I'm still a good person. And that's the part that matters. My outside, it's just a shell for my soul. And I want you guys to think of it that way too. And if you have comments, experiences, if you need help, if you need someone to tell you that it's going to be okay, you come to me and I will do that for you or I will find someone who can help you. Because we're a community and we love each other and we're going to treat each other the right way. Thank you girls so much for coming by and you guys for coming by because I know it happens to both genders. Please, this is a safe place and I want every one of you to feel safe right here. Peace guys.